Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Philosmos, where everything philosophical is discussed. Now, today, guys, I just want to give you some kind of revelation that I've had uh, actually yesterday. You know, I, I, I deeply realized that I was allowing my energy to be sabotaged, abused, disrespected, and just stepped on. That I realized that I had people in my life that didn't value me, that didn't see my potential, that didn't respect me, and coercely never had no love for me. And how many times do we come to this realization but we throw it to the back very quickly because of how uncomfortable it feels to know that you're surrounded by inauthentic people? You know, I've so long I've tolerated inappropriate behavior, I've tolerated disrespect, I've tolerated somebody not holding me to a high esteem. And this is my fault. I take 100% responsibility for it because if it were not for me, if it were not for me, they would not be doing the things that they were doing. It means there was something about me that resonated with that behavior. There was something about me that believed in some way, shape or form that how they treated me and how they were treating me was okay. So one thing, one decision that I've, I've made, I'm doing a deep cleanse in my life, a deep cleanse. I'm removing every single thing that no longer serves me. Like even on, like in my country, we use WhatsApp. Um, I have many contacts there that are just there. You know, like a computer that just has files that are irrelevant and not being used. Sometimes you gotta optimize your machine. And what I mean by that is, like some people I just, I'm just gonna get rid of. Because they serve no purpose in my life. They add no value in my life. They don't see my potential. They don't respect me the way that I know I should be respected. And this is a decision that I've made. And yeah, it's going to be a little bit painful letting go of some people. Yeah, it's going to be uncomfortable knowing very well that I've just made my circle even smaller. The fact that now I cannot have some imagined person to rely on because in truth I could never rely on most of these people but I imagined that I could but they don't give a fuck I'm sorry about my language but it's just a realization that I've come to and if you ever are on this journey in the spiritual journey on the path towards success whatever it is that you believe in you just trying to make yourself better one great thing to do is to remove every single thing that doesn't serve you. Remove any kind of person that does not hold you to a high esteem. Remove every single thing that could potentially distract you from being your best version. Because you only have this lifetime to do it. I mean, we can all say reincarnation. We can all say, yeah, this is not the, the only life you'll live. You're going to live many different lives. But this expression of you is this is all it is the next time you come back if you believe in reincarnation you're not going to come back the way that you are right now so you might as well make the most of it like this version of you that incarnated in the t into this realm into this planet why not experience it at its full potential because one day it's going to end like for a fact it's going to end a hundred years from now 200 years from now you will no longer be here so all these things that you worry about, worrying about other people, worrying about what they think about you, worrying about if they hold you to a high esteem, worrying about if they see your value, that doesn't mean anything when you're dead. All that matters is what you left behind. All that matters is the hearts that you've touched. That's all that matters. And if these individuals do not serve you, and leaving something eternal in this place that can help better mankind, let them go. Let them go. 
They serve no purpose. As painful as it is, let them go. Because the longer you allow yourself to exist in these energies, to, to, to be around these people, you're teaching your spirit that you hold yourself to a lower esteem. You're teaching your soul that you don't see its value. You're walking around the earth with your head down because of these people who don't see your worth. I'd rather you be alone, you be in solitude, than to be around people who don't see your worth. So I just thought I should share this message with you guys. I know I'm not the only one on this journey. Many other individuals are on this journey. And I know there's that whole saying, do not burn any bridges. Some bridges need to be burnt. Because if you don't burn them, you give this person, you give yourself easy access to abuse. Don't tolerate that anymore. Sometimes you gotta cut things off. So yeah, thought I'd share this with you guys. Hopefully it helped you think about certain things, help you realize certain things. So to end it off, as I always end it off, for those who seek, seek no more for in the present, we find it all. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs>